I lost my voice when I saw my dad with his lover. Mom felt sick and asked me to call an ambulance. But I couldn't say a word, and Dad was with someone else. Help didn't come, and Mom passed away. After the funeral, Dad brought his lover to live with us. Eloise obviously wasn't happy I lived with them. At least we have someone to clean the house. Dad agreed with anything she said. Soon Eloise asked Dad to give her money for shopping. I want a new purse, shoes, and dress. Dad gave her money from my college fund. You can't talk. Education won't help you anymore. One day, I accidentally broke Eloise's vase while cleaning the house. She was so angry, I thought she'd kill me. Not only is she mute, but her fingers are all thumbs. When Dad came home, she complained to him. I can't live like this. It's either me or her. I hoped Daddy would calm her down. We don't want to see you in this house anymore. You have one hour to pack up and leave. I lived on the streets after that. I ate at free soup kitchens for the homeless. Sometimes I slept in shelters, but mostly I slept under the bridge. I had to drop out of school to make a living. I advertised a cafe that served delicious sandwiches. I never thought I'd have a dad and be homeless. The only place where I found peace was my mother's grave. Only there could I cry and share my pain. One day, I heard a song mom used to sing at night. I signaled to the stranger I loved the song. My beloved grandma used to sing it. He replied, Duncan was kind, so I shared my story with him. We have a spare room in the house. You can stay there. Luckily for me, Duncan's dad didn't mind taking me in. Children shouldn't live on the streets. He soon helped me get back to school, and Duncan became more than a friend to me. He gave me a sense of family and happiness again. But one day, Duncan! It was the first word I'd said since mom died. I'm fine. You can talk. One day, my dad showed up at my new house. I'm sorry, sweetie. I overreacted. I realized I love you and I miss you very much. I was just about ready to forgive him when he got a phone call. I wish I hadn't heard what he said. I haven't told her about her mother's inheritance yet. She'll sign the disclaiming papers, I promise. I realized mom had left me money and dad was going to betray me again. You don't deserve to be called a dad. Get out! Duncan's family had my back. His father, a lawyer, helped me with a lawsuit. I got my parents' house and an impressive sum of money. Dad and Eloise had to move out when I went back to my mom's house. Soon, Duncan moved in with me as well. He proposed to me and we're getting ready to be married.